the Irish here pushing into the WRU 22. The forwards have looked extremely strong early in this first half. The ball is out to O'Brien. Great hands to keep it alive for the visitors. And the space on the left-hand side needs to go out. Liston out into Ella Roberts. One-on-one -on -one with Terry. Does she have the pace? Of course she does. Round the outside on the first goal of the game. Wales are pushing here. This is the best phase of their first half. Constable is involved, plenty of those forwards wanting to get their hands on the ball. Sean Ed Harris again involved, does she fumble it? No, not quite. Almost there for Wales. Inches jumping over the line to Larry Wynn Davis. Is it going to be given? The referee takes his time and Wales are back on level terms. Great score for the home team. Combined provinces are deep in their own half, taking their time. Wales trying to make it a contest in the breakdown, but it looks like O'Brien is not going to mess about with this one. That thunderous left boot goes down the field. Neve Terry collects well, takes her time, goes to the kick, but it has been charged down straight into Dalton, and Dalton has space on the left for Ella Roberts, and if we know anything about this girl, she's got pace, crossing the line with ease from that distance. It's a great opportunity for the visitors. They've got a huge pack, and the ball has been taken with ease. By the lock, starting to roll the wheels here are the visitors, they're pushing further and further, closer and closer to the try line, and the try has been given, and who's dotted it down, it is Huben with the try. Combined provinces again on the Welsh 22, the ball going out to Ella Roberts, good hands to keep it alive, but a good tackle from Caitlin Lewis to take her down. Plenty of options, but the scrum half goes down the left hand side, and it's a great try for Hughes. Who'd have thought it? Down the blind side, and there was plenty of space to exploit the Welsh defence. Wales looking far better in the early exchanges of this second half. The ball goes out to Devera, who takes three. Three combined promise, promises players to take her down. Scrum half goes on her own. Harry's taken down well by the defenders, but Wales are getting closer and closer to that try that they desperately need in this early exchanges of the second half. Pick and go is the option for the forwards again Wynn Davis involved by the side of that ruck and the breakdown Cat Evans just at the back there lurking it does look like the ball has been grounded and dotted down on that white line and the referee had a perfect angle for it Wales are definitely back in this one Wales on the cusp of potentially getting over the line the ball is pure Hopkins collects well from Cat Evans' throw and Wales try to get the wheels turning on this driving maul. Looks to stall slightly for the Irish defence. Wales have a second go, a second shove. Slows the ball down, but they're still going forward. Pushing forward are the Welsh. And is it going to be grounded? Yes, it is, according to the referee. Another try for Wales. And Seanad Harris is at the bottom of the pile this time. Combined provinces are getting closer and closer to the try line, trying to get under the post they are this time. But the visitors need a score here. They want to seal the deal in this game very tight at the moment. And so is Wales' defence, but the ball is out with O'Brien into Dalton. Dalton pushing. Has the tackle been made? No, it hasn't. The ball does cross the line. And Dalton gets a much-deserved try in this game. It's a scrum here then for Wales development team on the 10 metre line. It's a good shove from the scrum. Megan Davis gets it out to Neve Terry who's slotted into that fly half roll. She's found a gap in the defence. Support from Devera. She goes for the kick. It's a chase. Who's going to get there first? It looks like it's going to be Devera. And she's going to dot it down for a try for Wales. A great score for the young centre.